Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. And in this episode, the free stuff has struck again. We have a unknown year. We're not sure on what year it is. They were made between uh, 70s and early 80s. This is a Hustler 950. Six-wheeler. Six by six. Amphibious machine. And... You can see it's only a five by six. Missing a wheel. This one's just flat on the bottom. I'll pull this cap off. It's missing a, the engine. This is a, a skid steer transmission on this one. Let's see. These were made in uh, Jonesboro, Arkansas, just for a short time. And it, it needs some work. I think what we're going to do is we can put a Harbor Freight engine in right there. We can put the, the 420 Harbor Freight engine in, drop it in, and then we'll just have to put a pulley on so we can connect to that. And then we should be good. It, it does have, that's the rear seat for it. This is the, I'll pull out the floorboard. Again, it's got a lot of leaves in it. These things were, these things were designed to be amphibious. What the plans for this one are is uh, our older son Trevor has uh, is married, has a couple of kids, and they were looking at a golf cart or a side by side to just ride the kids around the neighborhood. What would be better than this? The deal I've made with Trevor is we'll work on this together. He's got to put sweat equity into it. Uh, if he doesn't, and if I get it done, done and finished, it's mine. If he doesn't work on it. But if he works on it, it's his. My plan today with this guy is it, it didn't roll yesterday when we went to go pick it up. The problem is, well, first off, all these leaves in here, they're probably jamming everything up. But there's one you can see all the all the chains one two three four five that's the drive chain that i think is missing that may go up to the the front wheels there, there's there's so much right and and they're super rusty so i'm going to try to get all this stuff out of here and then see if we can get it to kind of roll on its roll so it'll make it a little easier to move around i know we're missing a wheel we're shopping for one of those it's going to need tires uh, I, like I said, I put air in the tires last night. I was able to get this guy to inflate. It just leaked down. This guy leaked down too. It's got a hole right around here. A little leak. I think there's a nail in it somewhere around here. I found last night. So I'm going to inflate it again. Find the hole. Jam a plug in it. See if I can stop it. Keep air in it. It's going to need some repair in here. It does come. It came with a winch. Kind of cool. I don't know. You guys let me know down below if you think these things are cool. I think that it's kind of cool, so could be kind of fun. It does have some headlights way down there, if you can see them. As we get to it, not, uh, not today, but as we get to it, we'll probably end up, this cap, the top, just bolts down. Just remove it so that we can do some fiberglass repair here, strengthen that up. It looks like it was only cracked because this kind of got smacked with something. It looked like the front bumper got smacked with something. So it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Let's see if we can get, the, like I said, we got the back off, so it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, it's got a ball on the back so you can pull it around, but it's a solid tub. I'm not sure exactly how sealed it is, but it's got to be sealed. As you can see the axle that comes through, wheels are gonna need some help. But we'll we'll blow it out and we'll probably rinse it off with the pressure washer just to get it clean, just so we can see what's there. Just try to get all this stuff out of here and then go from there. Let me set you guys up and Okay, let's see if we can rock this sucker back. That's all right. There's just so much stuff. Look. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I've got water a little. 
the chain is moving. I think I just have so much stuff that's getting in the way that's binding up. So let me see if I can blow this sucker out. See if I can clean it out somewhat. Go from there. So this chain I noticed used to be together. As you can see, it used to be together right there. And let's see, this chain right here is just seized to the to the sprocket. Okay, so let me show you kind of what we have now that we got this front kind of cleaned up. This I think is a reason why we're not why we're not spinning. The chain's broken and it looks like it's bound up. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of rock it backwards. Push it, pull it backwards. See if I can get that that chain to free up. Just get past that this sprocket right here. So let's see if we can do that. Okay. Well, all six of them are moving. On, on the three of them on this side are moving. Okay, guys. So let me show you where we ended up. We got. We got it on the driveway so that we could jack it up. I jacked up the front end and put a couple of jack stands underneath it and then was able to use water because there's a couple of drain holes in the back just to flush everything down, pull it all out. It took me probably three hours to clean it out. I didn't record that because who wants to watch some guy pulling leaves out of the back of this thing? and wasn't just leaves some of these leaves have been in it so long that they turned into dirt so but let me show you what we have right now kind of where we are we got the whole thing is is cleaned out but you can see look this is still chain that's on this pocket that's rusted on right there same thing on this one still there um everything still moves kind of rusted we cleaned out under this this tray where the battery goes it's all, in, all good and then back here now you can see what's there look we still have another piece of chain hooked on right here and I can roll it around so which makes it a little bit easier and now we can see what we have or what we don't have before you couldn't see anything so it was just useless to even think about what you could do or could not do with it now we're at that point right do we move forward or not now we have to put pen to paper and take the Take the emotion out of it. How much is this thing gonna cost to get it going, to get it up and running? You know, we know that we need six tires. So what's six tires gonna cost? Let's say minimum, if you find it for 50 bucks a piece, that's 300 bucks. I think it'll be a little bit more than that. I think the little research I've done, I found some for like a, uh, a pair of them for $115, so three sets of that. So it's 345, that's what we're looking at, and then still has to get here and I still need to find another rim if I can't and I got to determine if these rims are all usable so figure wheels tires minimum let's say 500 bucks 500 bucks then we have to put an engine in here we're looking at that Harbor Freight engine is about I'm just doing dirty math right now guys uh, it's about let's say about 450 bucks plus tax maybe closer to 500 and then you got to buy a pulley to go with it so let's say that is let's just say 600 bucks so now we're up to 1100 about about a thousand dollars maybe a little bit more and all we have is an engine and it rolls do we know if this works all right this is a the borg warner um, t20 skid steer transmission we got to make sure that works because if that doesn't work then we're then we got to figure out okay what's next on that that's where we have to take a a non-emotional look at it and say well what's it going to cost to get into it and you know having the conversation with trevor and erica and make sure that that's something they want to do and and guys i'm saying this because that's the way i approach every motorcycle i build Right. Is it going to be worth doing it? Yeah, I've got a free Kawasaki GPZ 1100 sitting in there. But is it worth putting it back together? Is it worth me spending? It's not going to be my forever bike. I'm not going to keep it forever and ride it forever. So is it worth me spending the money into it? I don't know yet. There's a couple of questions about it. So that's where I like to look at this and say, is it going to be worth 
putting it together. What's the upside? We've got to do some research. What If this thing was running and riding, what do they go for? Are they $2,000? I don't know what the number is. Is it $3,000? Is it 1500 I don't, again, I don't know what that number is, but we got to take that into account to make sure that we're uh, not throwing money away because they could just take, if it's going to cost us $1,500 to get into this, they could spend $1,500 and get something that may be more reliable. They may not be able to drive in the water, but it may be better for them. So those are all questions that we have to have answered. The really good thing is not only did I get this one for free, but you start doing research and I found a project for one of these that's listed on Marketplace that is taken apart, that has wheels, that has tires, that has an engine, and it's 600 bucks. So could we get it for four? We may be able to. The guy said he took it apart because he had to do some welding to repair the, the chassis on here and it never went back together as we know so i could end up with a whole bunch of parts because it has everything for it. she's taken apart and if i could get it if i could get that now we're 500 bucks into it okay we could do that without that it's starting to be a little questionable so fingers crossed we'll know tomorrow uh if we can negotiate with this guy and it's willing to make it happen but if we can do that that would be a good thing Right now we'd be into this thing for 500 bucks. It has an engine, ran when parked, but it's a lawnmower engine. Come on, even if it, if, if I have the engine, if I have to rebuild it, what's it gonna take? You know, I, I buy piston and rings. I could rebuild the whole top end as long as the rotating assembly is good. If I rebuild the whole top end, what, for 30, 40 bucks? Okay, I could do that. So that's something, and it has the pulley. Just that, I could be save, we could be saving some money on that and really being able to get this thing going. And it could have some of the pieces that we're missing, like a tail light, things like that. If we buy that, that looks like a way to go. And let me know if you like this kind of content. If you like this, not that we're gonna get another six by six, but if they come up cheap, I'm okay for cheap stuff and I'm definitely okay for free stuff. So as always, thanks for watching yet another episode of Motorcycle Rewind. Do me a favor, like, tag, share, and follow us on Instagram at Motorcycle Rewind and hit the, the subscribe button. Thanks again, guys, and have a great day.